Will the market go up or down? Should you lock in or float? Find out this and more with Master of the Markets, hosted by Barry Habib of MBS Highway. Brought to you by Caliber Home Loans. At Caliber Wholesale, our products make us different and our people make us great. Caliber Home Loans Incorporated is an industry product leader with a full offering of core conventional and government products, coupled with our innovative non-agency portfolio lending products. Contact us to learn more. Welcome to another edition of Master the Markets. I'm Barry Habib at MBS Highway, and this is created exclusively by Mortgage News Networks, brought to you by our good friends at Caliber Home Loans. So, hope you enjoy your three-day long President's Weekend. It's going to be a shortened week this week, and it's going to be highlighted by housing news. And the housing news, even last week on the new construction side, came in very good. The housing data we'll get this week, I expect it to be pretty good. Although, you know, our friends in the media, people like Diana Olick, who have been wrong now for six years on housing, continues to try to defend that she's been so darn wrong by trying to find anything that she can in the housing data that comes out and point to it negatively. Look, uh, the housing data I expect to continue to be very strong. I think this housing rally certainly has room. Uh, for those of you who are subscribers to MBS How you know we've been calling this really well for a very long time and providing you with data and resources and facts to support that case and help people get into homes. Uh, you should certainly check out that information. We'll be breaking it down this week with charts and the real story, not what the media is saying, so you can help your real estate agents and clients. Now, with respect to last week's data, uh, we saw the Fed was the real highlight last week, and Janet Yellen gave her testimony. Now, remember, this week we're also going to get some Fed uh, information by way of the minutes from the last meeting that the Fed had. So it'll be interesting to see behind the scenes what some of the Fed members said. Remember, they voted unanimously to hold rates steady. Now, getting back to last week's comments by Janet Yellen, you know, it was interesting because Janet Yellen talks a good game, but she has really not shown much backbone or desire to hike rates. And the Fed has eight meetings a year. Five of them have press conferences. And although they don't have to, the Fed would much rather move during a time where they have a press conference. One of those meetings is gone. That leaves four meetings left with a press conference. The next meeting is in March. If the Fed really truly intends to hike three times, like they say they do, who knows? you really leave very little wiggle room if the Fed doesn't hike at the upcoming March meeting. The financial markets don't believe they will, even though in Janet Yellen's testimony, that's what caused mortgage rates to spike in the middle of the week last week, which said, well, maybe we need to hike sooner or later. That could be prudent because, look, and, and it's logical. Her thinking is logical, whether she falls through or not. That's a whole other thing. But the thinking is, look, we're probably, and they won't admit this, way behind the curve. This type of economic activity, job growth, Inflation that we're seeing, you know, two and a half percent inflation on the on the overall headline CPI above the Fed's target, two point three percent if you strip out food and energy above the Fed's target of two. When you see this type of economic activity, we just saw the Philly Fed manufacturing index record level since 1984. So when you're seeing the stock market all time highs on all the major indices, the Fed funds rate shouldn't really be at zero point six two five percent. Should be closer to three percent. So. The Fed's already way behind the curve. And what Janet Yellen finally admitted is that if we don't hike soon, then we'll have to really hike rapidly to catch up later, and that could really disrupt the financial markets. Well, she's right. And it's interesting because the, the Fed, there was a Fed president from Dallas, Kaplan, who said those exact same things. So it looks like Janet Yellen finally listened to reason from one of the other Fed members because she essentially reiterated it. Uh, whether or not they follow through, who knows? But look, if inflation starts to get out of hand, the bond market's not going to like it. For now, we see that the bond market wants to kind of recover some of its losses after hitting 252. We're down right now around 240. Let's see this week. If we get the magic number is 231 on the 10-year treasury, move underneath first. The first level is 238 on the 10-year, then 231. We get there, and we're going to see a nice move down, probably to about 218 on the 10-year. But it's two tough levels that we've tested before and haven't been able to break underneath. So we got to real, really be careful around those two because in the past, yields have come down there and then bounced higher, especially around that 231. So we can't get blindsided there. But if it does break under 231, we'll have a nice move lower down to 218. 
uh, but there's some work to do before we get there. All right, we'll talk more about it. Hey, take us up on a free trial to MBS Highway. I promise you, you will enjoy it and see all the tools that we can help you with to build and protect your realtor referrals as well as understanding your markets and sounding better when you talk to your customers. After all, you only get a few minutes on the phone with them. And during those few minutes, those initial few minutes, believe it or not, your customers decided who they're going to use to do, do their loan applications. The biggest financial transaction of their life will not sound a lot smarter than your competition. It just makes sense. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Your reputation with your referring business partners depends largely on the lenders you recommend. This is why you'll want to choose a partner who shares your commitment to customer service. At Caliber Home Loans, our products make us different and our people make us great. A leading product innovator. In addition to our core conventional, government, and jumbo loans, we've created our own non-agency portfolio lending products. These enable you to assist creditworthy clients who can demonstrate the ability to repay. To learn more, visit us online at CaliberWholesale.com. This is Mortgage News Network.